Alright guys, welcome back to my channel, Cadis Gaming. Welcome back to Mountain Blade Bannerlord. It seems this is pretty fair, right? 728 against 724, or 724, so they have a slight advantage. Up against uh, Valandia's army, we're way up north here. Um, what had happened is our people pushed for peace with the Kuzates, so we went to peace with the Kuzates for the time being. I did not see Chagan um, anywhere on my way up here, or I would have went right back to war with him and captured him and tried to kill him. So we are on the lookout for him, even though we're at peace with them for the time being. We're also at peace with the Western Empire once again. They pushed paperwork through. Just went with it, guys. It's just, it's exhausting to use all your influence on just saying no. So sometimes it's just easier just go the other direction. But regardless, we still got our Valadian war that we wanted. So we're going to square up against them and see what they have in return. And I'm not sure if they're leaders in this army or not. But they did take this castle from us. We just couldn't get there in time, guys. Uh, they'd already taken it, so... Should I try to... Well, you're in an army, so you're not going to, but, uh, nope. We're at war. Don't care. Yield to the fight. Let's do this. Let's see what this army's got as far as matching up against my army. Enjoy my 45 Sergeant Crossbowman's all I gotta say. Um, I think we have like 20 heavy cavalry guys. Just a, a lot of cavalry. A lot. Uh, 100 maybe. No joke, something crazy like that. Um, let's see, yeah, we've got 48 plus 38, plus we're only bringing in a portion of our archers, 99 infantry, 65 archers will do just fine, though. Ladians like to kind of work like the Empire does, and kind of just march on, but they also like waiting for the enemy to approach them. So I'm not sure if they're going to stop here or not, guys. We'll see. I'm not going to do any commands until I'm sure they're coming. If they break the... I'll break the 300 mark here. It looks like they are Archers! deciding to come. So that's good. Spread out! Horse and where can I put my horse archers? Like, Oh, they're already right there. How about you guys just spread out? And infantry, stay down there, but shield wall, please. Footman, you can kind of rest back here for a second with your shield wall. They were hiding over there nicely, though. We'll tuck them in for the moment. Need to kind of get the archers more on this base of the hill. There we go. Excellent. And I uh, might is so get behind this rock myself, kind of get a bird's eye view. Yes, like King of the Mountain. Yes, there we go. Excellent. Until they start coming in. Oh my goodness. That's some nasty arrows. <laughs> Alright, and where are they? Are they just waiting? They're just waiting, of course. I'm just sitting here all cockily, just ready for them to break line. And they're not even going to do that. We're going to have to go to them. That's just kind of the card that the uh, Valadians play, is they like you to charge at them. <clears throat> and try to hold their line, so to speak. Let's get everybody lined up as I speak of it right just just a nightmare we are guys we're, we're the thing that banner lord parents tell their children at night do not cross Benoit Gray and her army we're like a kind Attila the Hun in a way where nobody can stop us we're just an unstoppable force but we play by the rules and all that good stuff all right we're gonna hold right here there's their line. Let's get the bowmen up here to have a good time with their line. Also, mountain archers. Mm, 
me and guess you guys can rest back here nice and loose. Sportsman, why don't you come on over there with shields up, infantry, back up the archers with shields up. Everybody please get where you need to get, please. Stop congesting. I'll turn for you. There you go. That's all they needed. Alright. And let the archery game begin. Just gonna kind of break through here a little bit if my man will let me. Will you let me? Thank you. Then we can get a bird's eye view of the agony that the Valadians are going through right now. Getting close, they are. Our archers are going to start charging them, so we're just going to send everybody in. There's their cavalry. Enjoy that. Their cavalry. Uh, do they have any on this side? Possibly. Maybe. Oh, excuse me, sir. Are you the ruler of your faction? Because you kind of look like you might. Kind of look like I'm not rocking that uh, kingly gear. Come here for a second. Oh, you just like no, that was sure, surely. Hello. Darn it, my timing's uh, off. Yes. Yeah, that one was definitely. Oh, are you kidding though? Okay, apparently I caught somebody there just wildly swinging. We are destroying for a term of two. <clears throat> Four archers, you're beautiful. When you're managed, not a whole army of them, but but a group of managed. It's a, it's a beautiful little uh, extra tactic. Gonna keep her cocked here for a second. I was hoping so. I think that took him off his horse, and my men will definitely take care of him. Alright. Are we are we pushing here? Is it is that what we're doing? Or Or is that the majority of their force right there? Do they yeah, they're sitting back here with archers. These guys are probably pretty nasty, so we'll wait for more men to be ready. And in meaning they're all blogged together on like one dude, like ten guys are on one dude. Nope, the whole herd's moving now, so excellent. Excellent. We're just gonna kind of watch this happen. So it makes me a good thing. But I have to say, in the open field, guys, we're not so, we're not swimmy, we're not laggy, really. Like, maybe a little, maybe. I did tweak settings just a little bit, kind of uh, squeeze a little more performance out of this fella because we really weren't at cap or anything. But I think it has something to do with the outside and then the inside realms, like sieges versus field battles. Just a little more freedom for your men to kind of dance around in. Alright, they're just everybody's everywhere, so I've I've lost track of the main pack. I need mean, where my herd is, I suppose, of soldiers. Taking very little scratches. Uh, they've taken a little gnaw out of us. They still have a significant amount, so I'm wondering. So yeah, they've got to be like over this hill. They, they must be sitting back here. It's like wave two that just decided to just sit. <laughs> We're coming to you. Uh, hey, he's just like, who should I shoot at? I don't, I don't know, they're everywhere. I totally missed it. Totally did. Well, hello, hello, hello with that. That's a big, that's a big weapon there you have. I'm just gonna dance a little bit so you guys just kind of hone on me and then my men will help me. Suppose I got 1% damage on somebody there. Alright. Ah, I see. They have a little line going on. A little one. I think we're just gonna keep pushing, guys. Like, we seem to be not having a problem with that. All my men are. Yeah. Coming over? 
Hmm. Why do we all seem really... Should I reform the line, maybe? Do that, I suppose. Reform the line so that we... Get a little control. We can set the archers back up. But I don't know what good it's gonna do. Here, we'll pull them back some more, though. Everybody just kind of come back. Let's get a let's get a head count here. Let's get all organized. -ish. They're regrouping and kind of moving towards us. So okay, they're here. Never mind. <laughs> we'll just unleash again. There we go. They're getting it in. I mean. I would have to say, this is a good battle. It really is. I, I, I have total faith in my men that we're going to pull it off. Oh, oh goodness. You, yeah. I don't have a problem that we're going to pull it off. Uh, or I keep down there get the buddy. We're, we're just sending more and more in. That's what I think. It's just, it's lack of spawning, I guess. So our, to the point to where we outnumber them greatly and we're winning the battle then they keep spawning in and they start balancing us off we were our guys are wounded they start going down we get small and then they kind of get a little bit of favor in the battle guys before we spawn back in to reinforce ourselves because once we do that because we just greatly outnumber them at this point in the battle uh because they've killed so many of their men so so now it's over. Line is a moving right along. There. It's like almost. It's like ants, man. It's like really fast ants just running all over the place, just collecting stuff. It's a bunch of horsemen, I'll tell you that. It's a bunch of horsemen running around. Jeez, just wreaking havoc. Yes. Yeah, so back to the title statement: Unstoppable. It, it appears so, guys. Like. They got that castle just because we couldn't make it there. If we'd been there already, they would not have possessed that castle at all. And we're getting ready to go on a Valaitian rampage. And we'll uh, probably sweep up a couple, uh, couple cities, a couple castles. Maybe try to persuade a few of their lords to join our faction. Because I think we're basically at that point where we're getting too big and don't have enough... Uh, Plans, guys, so we need to start with plan recruiting again. And there we go. I like to change the music in depending on what region you're in, too. That's, that's really a nice touch. I think Bannerlord did that. Uh, excuse me. I think Warband did that as well. <clears throat> Alright. See if we caught any of their lords and who. I think I done it. I think it's just having a brain fart central. Okay. There we go. We just plundered five grand out of these guys. Nice. I don't know who you are, sir. Do I want to release you? Hmm. You look like someone of... Maybe it's just their armor. They, they seem very... You know what? We'll just... Metella, huh? Uh, we'll just take everybody. Because I'm not sure... Of their stature, I, I suppose, is a good way to put it. Do we want to take some of their pretty... You know, I mean... I wouldn't mind building a little levy group there. And how about you fellas, too? I'm very interested in the archers. They're a very ground-based military, but they have cavalry just like... Okay. They have cavalry just like their their builds are a lot like the Empire builds for sure. Um, war mount, okay. We'll take this guy. He's kind of he's he's decent in speed. I need horses right now is what I need because the lacking in speed. Do they have any food as well? Did they? Yes, a little bit. Let's go ahead and take that. Yep and yep and yep. And there we go. <clears throat> Alright, we squashed them there. We should probably take 
this castle back. But I was thinking about, ooh, yeah, we took some good, we took some good loss there on that one. We should maybe try to call another lord in if there's any more available. What should we do? What should we do? Take her or theirs? I think what we should do is do like a little quick loop of a recruit and then come back and siege one of their castles so i guess what i'm saying is we'll, we'll cut this one short guys and we'll when we come back we'll be sieging one of the two of these castles obviously we're going to take both um if uh, yes because we can cross right over right here it's a beautiful thing because this is one of their main cities that's close enough to us at the moment so I guess the plan will be we'll take take our back then we'll take Ove castle and then we'll go over here and we'll grab Omar and at some point we're gonna have to break army and then reform and I'm not sure what where Kinteg is actually if he's sieging because there's nothing over okay Kinteg's army's right there he's at he's near tall um, I would imagine he's going to head over this direction to start sieging castles and such. Matter of fact, should I just leave this one and he might try to take it back? He might try to take it back. It's the closest one to him. So maybe we'll take O first then and we'll just play it by ear from there, guys. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe, please. Trying to get to my thousand so I can be legit with Google and, uh... Uh, start monetizing all that and really get some support uh, financially under the channel guys so we're really trying to push towards that soonish would be awesome you guys have been giving me great support uh, up until this point I really really appreciate it definitely those of you who are sharing and liking the videos and uh, just really helping me grow but uh, with all that being said hope you guys enjoyed it and until next time we'll see you later